How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and today we're back on Craigslist taking a look at some cars to see if they are rice or nice. Did they make their car look a little bit too aggressive? Do they have the performance to back it up? We're about to find out. If you guys want to send any of these posts to me, send them to my Gmail, drewpeacock.clips at gmail.com. Let's go ahead and dive right in. First car is a 2007 Scion TC. He's asking $6,000 and I thought I'd give you guys a really easy one right here. Obviously this is the nicest car you guys have ever seen. You've never seen something quite so quick, but let's go Go ahead and take a look first things first the thing that's staring me right in the fucking face are these wolverine scratch marks if you're using stickers to make your car look aggressive you're doing it wrong okay stickers don't make your car look aggressive it's tacky it's cheap and it ain't doing jack shit also the fake hood scoop i mean i could see straight into it okay i could see into that glory hole and it ain't going nowhere that's something i don't want to stick my into anyways racing stripes straight down the middle all that combined for a measly 15 horsepower gain He's got some canards on the front bumper, makes sense for a front wheel drive car, and then he also has like a diffuser underneath his front lip. It's not like a splitter, it's more like a diffuser, and I think it kind of makes sense. You slap this bad boy in reverse, and it's now a rear wheel drive car. Think about it, okay? Come on, front wheel drive boys are doing it all wrong. He's got a fender vent on the side, plus five for whatever he's going to tell you, some bullshit story that it does. I mean, come on. This has to be the most aggressive front end you guys have seen all day. If you're looking at this car and you're not thinking, damn, I want to make my car look like that, I mean, I don't know. Maybe you just don't own a car or something. P painted fuel door plus five right there. I mean, this this car just all around is just the best modifications I've ever seen. Surprised it doesn't have Lambo doors, actually. That's one thing that's missing. He's got some red trim accents. Interior is fucking luxurious as hell. Yeah, I mean, you kind of do have to, you know, recline the front seat to make it so you can, you know, climb in. But besides that, it's really luxurious. Neon underglow in the footwells. Very beautiful right there. Automatic transmission. I mean, he went for the best of both worlds. Not only is it one badass high-performance race car, but it's also like, you know, on par with a Rolls-Royce or a Bentley. I mean, <laughs> let's be real here. I mean, who wouldn't be happy in this car? Anyways, $6,000. What do you guys think? Rice or nice? I mean, it's fucking rice. Let's be real here. Moving on. 2007 Ford Mustang GT Pro Charged Supercar. Okay, supercar is a little bit, little bit uh, out there for a Mustang GT. Let's be real here. Uh, yeah, by the way, half of these posts are like Mustangs. It just happened like that. I didn't mean to pick Mustangs, but... Apparently, a lot of dumb people out there are building Mustangs like this. Anyways, 2007 Ford Mustang GT convertible. The first thing I noticed is a fucking snake badge on the side. I know this paint job might have distracted a few of you, but no, I saw straight through it and went straight to that snake badge. Okay, we got to see what's going on. Is it a SVT or did he just toss that bad boy on there? This has to be one of the ugliest paint jobs ever. It's, it's on par with what Exhibit did back in the day. The front chrome grill lets me know that you're well into your mid, you know, middle age 50s, around there. The TV zone the, in the back of the headrest. Now, now you got me a little bit confused. That doesn't scream 50-year-old man to me. I'm not sure about that one. Chrome wheels, everything that's everything about this car is just fucking ugly. Okay, if you're into that, if you're into the early 2000s look, this is perfect for you. If you're into you know the Fast and the Furious style of cars, this is perfect for you. Uh, for anyone like me that you know likes our cars to look good, this isn't this isn't for me. Now underneath the hood, this is a 4.6 liter, and this is a Pro Charger. So he doesn't have a Super Snake or a Shelby or anything like that. He just has a Mustang GT. Decided he was going to turn it into a Shelby, and then tossed a Pro Charger Supercharger on top of it, and that's it. That's all he did. It ain't uh, it ain't anything special. A car like this, stock motor, you could be pushing four, four hundred fifty horsepower around there. Built motor, I mean, you, you guys saw what I put mine down until I blew it up. But, anyways, it could be fast, but do the exterior mods back it up? I mean, is this a little bit too much? I mean, do you really need like seventeen speakers? I mean, you got two in this door, you got two back there, you got one giant one right here. I'm assuming that's what that is. I mean, you got a lot of shit going on. Do you need all that if you're gonna try to be fast? Obviously, it's a show car, supercar, like he was saying. So, twenty eight thousand five hundred for this supercar don't seem like a bad price it says he's making 540 horsepower must be a built motor so the motor itself and everything is probably pretty decent but i mean do you really want to be seen driving around this i don't uh to me it's not rice obviously because nah and you know it is kind of rice with the fucking everything he's got going on with the fake snake badge yeah it's pretty fucking rice let me know what you guys think down in the comments next car is a 2006 acura rsx type s ten thousand five hundred dollars let's break this bitch down all right, first picture, we see a cool wide body flare kit. Universal one, it looks like. It doesn't look like anything too special. Nice deep dish white wheels. I'll give it that. It really contrasts the black and one gigantic wing. Correct me if I'm wrong. The RSX is front wheel drive, right? So why do you need a gigantic wing? Can someone please explain to me why the car that probably has never seen a track needs a gigantic wing for styling? I mean, I guess. 
But if you're going to go that far, then might as well throw some neon underglow on that bitch and you just make it the, the, the little cheesiest car out there. Bride seats, that's a thumbs up for me. Okay, I'm looking for some of those for my car. But everything else on the exterior, I mean, I got to see some cool underneath that hood. I got to see something that's going to break my neck. Uh, I'm just not seeing it, though. I'm just not seeing it. He doesn't show underneath the hood. From what I see, he's got a little baby show car, kind of, some some budget show car. And it's it's, it's cool. It's cool, you know, it'd break my neck, but then I'd kind of bust out in laughter seeing that gigantic wing on the top. There's a, there's a limit, you know. If you want to go with a gigantic wing, be my guest. You can do whatever you want to your car, but I just think this is a little bit too out there for my personal taste. Let me know what you guys think. $10,500 also seems a bit high. I don't know. Uh, it's a bit high. 135,000 miles, not too bad. The bride seats obviously add value to it because those things ain't cheap. But everything else, I mean, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. He doesn't show too much of this car. For, it's, it's not bad. It's for sure the best thing we've seen so far. But uh, for everything else, I mean, he doesn't he doesn't mention anything. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Rice or nice? If he has nothing underneath the hood, that bitch is fucking rice. Anyways, next car, 2003 Chevrolet Cavalier LS Coupe two-door for $2,100. This is the cheapest car we've seen so far. And it looks like it has the second most, if not the most, custom work we've seen so far. And it is fucking ugly. All right. I don't see any door handles. So we got some shaved door handles. We have a crazy air ram hood that doesn't look functional. We'll have to take a look in a second. Kind of looks functional. I can't tell if it, if it actually is or not. I mean, hopefully it has a better picture. I guess it might be functional. We'll see underneath the hood. But honestly, if you told me this was a Cavalier, I wouldn't really believe you. He's got a crazy little wide body kit on it, kind of. I don't know. Or his fender's just fucked up. I can't really tell. Interior, he's got the neon in there, of course. That's what uh, all sports cars and luxury cars come with. Come on, Lamborghini's been doing this since, like, I don't think a Lamborghini's ever done this, actually. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm doing it all wrong. The Cavalier, though. One of the rarest but yet most ricey cars out there. Apparently, this is a hot ricer contender. There's a lot of aftermarket parts for this thing to just make it look like the biggest ricer out there. Underneath the hood, I mean, come on, this blue line right here, that's got to be adding like 15 horsepower. There's no reason unless, you know, it was blue. Blue must mean 15 horsepower. So besides that, though, not seeing a whole lot. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. This thing just looks like a piece of shit in my book. Uh, is it rice? Yeah. Yeah, this this thing is rice. This thing ain't got shit. I mean, <laughs> come on. I mean, look at that. I, I, what the fuck is this? Like, this, this is just a mess. It's just a mess underneath the hood. There's nothing cool under here. The blue line, I mean, that's 15 horsepower. But besides that, it's just a fucking mess. $2,100, though? I mean, I could live with a mess for that price. Let's go to the next Mustang. 2005 Mustang GT. 9500 if you forgot, he also has it listed right here for $9,500. 4.6 liter V8 military themed custom paint job head turner and Lambo doors. That's what he has listed in his description. Let's take a look. All right, so we got some really crazy custom paint on the exterior. I'm all for military themed stuff. So, I mean, I'm really... What fucking military are you talking about? Military of 1460? What, what the sh What the f make fuck is this? Military of the Crusades? This isn't military themed. This is... The military of fucking Napoleon? I, I I think this is before Napoleon's time. I don't, I don't What the fuck, fuck is going on on this side? So this is like when Crusaders meet Halo. We got lasers, we got spaceships, and I don't see anything of like modern modern day military. So I don't know what military this guy's thinking about because I don't see anything that says like U.S. Marines, U.S. Navy, anything that really just resembles modern day. So only, unless this car is uh, like a, a, a 1407 instead of two, uh, instead of a 2005 Mustang, unless this thing was like made back in 1407, I, I don't see no military shit on this thing. It's got a pretty cool like paint job. Don't get me wrong, like this whole airbrushed panel to make it look like it's like made out of sheet metal. I'm I'm all down for that. Like it's kind of cool. Looks like you know almost like some Mad Max shit. But I I don't know. I, I'm not seeing no military shit. I'm I'm seeing some Halo and some Crusader uh, stuff. All right. Well, ninety five hundred dollars. I mean, it's not the worst thing ever. It's got some unique stuff going for it. It's got the custom paint, the Lambo doors. I guess it's not the worst thing out there. But, I mean, I think this guy needs to, like, edit his damn description. Because that ain't no military, okay? That's that's the fucking crusade. Anyway, 2001 Saturn Saturn S-Series SC2 Coupe 3-Door. Saturn Saturn. All right, cool. Uh, pink and black. That's very hot color nowadays. In 2020. Oh, and the hearts. Well, I never thought I'd see the day of hearts meeting a saturn i don't know what's up with the car scene and hearts and broken hearts and being a sad boy i think it's kind of the lamest shit ever not gonna lie i think putting hearts all over your car no matter how lame the car is i think it just makes it even more lame there was a mark 5 the other day that pulled up on me in my mark 4 and uh he had a heart little little keychain lanyard hanging from the side whatever grab handle or whatever i don't know some some stupid shit i just saw it as i was gapping him but i was just like wow really like 
you really doing that to your Mark V? Like, that's the mod you're doing. That's your customization. That thing was slow as dog shit. I never had to shift down out of fifth. So uh, it just goes to show how much he actually put into the car. I mean, that lanyard itself must have been like, what, like 10 or $15? But besides that, the thing was slower than dog shit. Uh... Kind of embarrassing for him and his girlfriend but anyways yeah i just thought i'd show you guys this car really quick the hearts in it i mean it just reminded me of how uh cringy the car scene is nowadays with all the the sad boy you know oh look at i'm so depressed yada yada yada, yada. look at me i'm sad I'll, I'll never get over my high school relationship type of stuff where it's like all right boy grow up be a big boy and move on moving on speaking of moving on let's move on to this next car this is a 2005 mustang premium two-door coupe all right, Mustang Premium. He doesn't list GT, but this I mean, this exterior is pretty out there. He's got side dump exhaust. He's got dual air ram hood. He's got some crazy fog light setup, some crazy grill, big old wheels. I mean, this is a pretty aggressive looking car. Sick paint job, too. Uh, if I had a dollar for every time I saw a fucking Mustang with Lambo doors, I think I'd have about three just by this episode alone. Wow. I mean, look at this shit. I mean, I like the whole color and everything. It's kind of cool. Oh, my God. What is this? This looks like Megatron's ass as a rear end. Like, <laughs> this thing is fucking ugly. You could, it's literally a park bench or like a bus stop. Like, you could sit down on that bitch. This, whatever, man. People are fucking, uh, fucking, uh, I don't know. This is why not everyone designs cars, okay? This is why, you know, they leave it up to the pros because you'll have some shit that looks like this. I mean, some of it is cool, but fucking bus stop rear end I'm, I'm not a fan of that uh interior we got automatic transmission the seats match the exterior that's kind of cool i guess you get no headrest though okay it's gonna really hurt if you get rear-ended or anything like that but but anyways oh look at that that's a, that's a smart spot to put that yeah that's a that, this is actually the little uh let, let's see if he shows it that's where your your trunk keyhole goes okay yeah so he took it off right here it actually goes right there you guys have seen it on my door. It's like a fake fuel door to like kind of, you know, complement the uh, old school design of the Mustang when the fuel door used to be back there. Anyways, yeah, let's just uh, let's, let's launch it into your forehead when the airbag goes off. Sounds like a fucking smart idea to me. Yeah, sounds smart. Anyways, yeah, this has to be uh, the worst Mustang of the episode. I thought the Crusader car was bad. Megatron's ass is even worse. And uh, let's take a look. Oh, original V6 motor. <laughs> Yep, you just uh, you just proved me right. Cool. Why'd you put the fucking Ford thing on upside down, by the way? Like, you fucking stupid. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know which cars you thought were rice and which cars you thought were nice. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. I am going to Vegas today, so I will have a, I don't know, have a few videos uploaded while I'm gone. I hope you guys enjoy them. I'll be back, and I'll have some more videos pumping out. We got a drift car coming. I hope you guys are excited for that. Anyways, until next video, peace.